Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. You're with Bethany, Certified Personal Trainer. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my weekly routines. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Today I have for you another recipe video. We're making garlic parmesan spaghetti squash. So if you guys would like to follow along with me, go ahead and let's get into this recipe. making a garlic parmesan spaghetti squash recipe. This is a great substitute for pasta. Spaghetti squash is packed with minerals, vitamins, it's low carb, so it's really healthy and a great option for those who want to cut the pasta out and add something else in. So, you're going to take your squash, we're going to do a, about a three pound squash here, so you want to go with two to three pounds and you're gonna cut it halfway lengthwise. Now they're very hard to cut, so be careful. Um, I have already started cutting mine, so it's gonna take a little time, just be very careful. I just wanna remind you of that. We don't want anyone getting hurt here. And you wanna get that in half, and then whoop, it's like a pumpkin, so you wanna scrape those seeds out. So I've got my little bowl over here on the side, got my spoon, and we're going to scrape out the innards. Okay, once you've got all the seeds scooped out, you can go ahead and actually roast these seeds like you would pumpkin seeds. So you can season them up and get those cooked up, or you can just toss them away. So I'm gonna clean up my cutting board here a little bit. Now, we are going to take olive oil, avocado oil, um, your oil of choice. I always go to my avocado oil, and we're going to drizzle that over our squash. Just a little drizzle here. Okay. And then I'm just going to brush it, make sure I get it everywhere. This is such a great fall vegetable. So hearty, delicious. You can do so much with it with substituting pasta dishes with it. It's a very versatile. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and we are going to sprinkle some salt. Get a little salt on there. And a little bit of pepper. going to place these face down on our baking dish. Alright, so I'm going to bring the baking dish over. Here we go. And then we're going to go ahead and put these into our oven on 375 for 35 to 45 minutes. Okay, so while the squash is in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my area and then we will be back here in a few minutes to continue on with this recipe. Okay, so our squash is finished. We're going to go ahead and pull it out of the oven. It cooked for about 45 minutes. Now we want it to rest and cool, and I'm going to flip them over. Let's see how they look. Ooh, beautiful. They're perfect. So we're going to let those cool, and while those are cooling, 
We're gonna go back over to the oven and we're gonna prepare our sauce. So get your pan on medium heat and we're gonna add four tablespoons of butter. So I've already chopped up, or I've cut up four tablespoons of butter there and we're gonna let that melt down. Stir this on medium heat. Okay, so our sauce is finished, so we're gonna go back to the squash and we're gonna start shredding it and then we can incorporate everything in together. Okay, so now we are going to scrape down our squash with a fork. This is the easiest way I find to scrape it down. Just gives it a nice shred and it's really hot still, so be careful. And then you can just put it into your serving platter. Scrape around the edges, bringing it all down, and just scooping it in. This looks just so beautiful in itself. You could stop right here and just eat this as a side dish. But we're just gonna kick it up a notch and add in a little bit of sauce, give it some more flavor. And it still is a wonderful side dish. You can have it, if you're a meat eater, have it with your favorite type of chicken. Great for Thanksgiving. Alright, so I'm just scooping the last bit of the squash out, and as you can see, this yielded quite a bit. This two and a half, three pound, one spaghetti squash, we got all that. So, we get a lot in that one piece of squash there. So let's get that out of the way, bring this over here. And we're going to grab our sauce and then we're going to dump that in. We're going to go ahead and we're going to give it a little mix. And then we're going to pour that over the squash. And set that to the side. Mix it up. Smells so good. And then we're just gonna top it off with some of that Parmesan. We got a half cup here. I'm gonna do a little at a time. Just get it incorporated. If you're not a parsley fan, just skip out on this step right here. Okay, 
and I'm just going to add a little bit more parsley to the top. Of course, may add a little bit of Parmesan. Got to sprinkle a little bit on the top there. And a little bit of Parmesan. And there we have it, folks. We've got our beautiful spaghetti squash with that garlic parmesan mix. It smells great. It looks wonderful. Perfect for the fall. Perfect for Thanksgiving, for your meals, side dish. I mean, eat as is. I hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. Just look at how beautiful that looks. Okay guys, so there you have it, garlic parmesan spaghetti squash. It was super simple, quick, and easy to make. The longest part was roasting the squash, and it came out beautifully. I hope you enjoyed that recipe and were able to follow along. And like I said, the recipe will be in the description below, so check that out so you can follow along and make this recipe and tell me how you like it. And if you'd like to see anything else, Please drop it in the comments of what you'd like me to make. I love making these dishes, and this was another low-carb, great dish that you won't even miss the pasta. I'm telling you, it's so tasty. Put it next to a meat, your favorite meat of choice, a chicken, turkey, great for Thanksgiving, great for this season. It's a beautiful vegetable, so full, packed of minerals and vitamins, all that good stuff. All right. So if you have not liked this video, please like it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. Help support my channel. And remember, it's never too late to be great. Thanks, guys.